All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com or follow me on Twitter at Anthony Smoke. Uh, today, I am in SQL Server, right? So sometimes you got to roll your sleeves up and uh, analyze some data. Typically, I'm doing that uh, uh, via visualization means uh, in Tableau, but uh, you know, I do a lot of behind the scenes work in, uh, in SQL Server to get the data where I need it to be. So I recently had a request to, uh, to take some data and uh, denormalize it. And uh, it, was, it was like 500,000 rows. I did not want to do that in Excel. So this is where database comes into play and wanted to share what I learned uh, with you. So let's take a look at, um, let's look at some data here. So uh, I've got, uh, this is from World Bank. And I, what we really care about, we care about city and this is average rent. So you know, San Francisco, San Jose. Uh, wow, I really uh, feel your pain here, but at least you got the warriors out there. Um, again, these are just average rents uh, for uh, for different cities. Shout out to uh, Cashville here. I used to live there uh, back in the day. Anyway, uh, what I want to do with this data, I want to uh, take it from being tall. I want to make it wide. I want to pivot it. So my end result uh, has to look like this. So again, I've got all of the other uh, fields that I had in the previous sheet that I showed you, but my city values are now columns and the respective average rent here uh, is underneath that uh, city with no values everywhere else. All I did was pivot this. So how do you do that? Obviously, you could you could do this on a small data set within uh, Excel, but how would you do that on, uh, you know, 500,000 rows, right? That's that's uh, very tough. So that's where our database needs to come into play. So I'm going to pull up uh, SQL Server Express here. We're going to write some code that will take in uh, the data that I just showed you in the more normalized fashion and pivot it into this, uh, this form right here. So how do we do that? Let's get started. All I did was I imported uh, what, what I'm calling table rent into uh, SQL Server. I imported that uh, this sheet uh, this sheet right here into SQL Server, right? So uh, the first thing I'll do here is show you that I always start with a, uh, I want to drop the temp table, uh, but only if it exists. So if I'm going to use a temp table on something, I will I will put this line of code in here. And let's do this. Let's uh, let's make it easier to see, right? So, uh, so now I want to, let's declare uh, a variable here. We're going to declare SQL query as a um, in varcar and max because I don't know how long I want this to be. So this is a parameter, which I can spell, um, that is going to hold a dynamically created uh, SQL query, right? And I'm making it uh, in varcar because, and we're overproofing this for the data that we have, right? Just, um, you know, just in case you take this template and use it against your data by using a, uh, a Unicode uh, in Varkar, you're making sure that if the if the characters aren't English uh, language and they have some special signs or symbols in them, uh, that it'll be able to handle it. So that's all that uh, in Varkar does, makes it Unicode. And now I'm also going to declare another parameter that's going to uh, hold our pivoted column names. And obviously it's not going to be named SQL query. We're going to call it uh, pivot columns for lack of a better name, right? And I'm just going to copy that. Great. And next step, we're going to generate the list of city names that will become column headers. And so this is dynamic. I'm going to uh, select uh, our pivot columns, right? And I'm going to use the coalesce function. COA, L-E-S-C-E, -E, right? Um, and we're going to do that on pivot columns again. Plus, and I'll try and explain all this once I finish uh, typing it out here. Plus, we're going to use this quote names. Quote names function. And I want to use that on uh, city right from my table table rent all right so what did i just do here so i am selecting into pivot columns 
uh, pivot columns again plus a comma. Uh, I'm using coalesce because if there's a null value, I want it to uh, just show uh, this right here, blank, right? And I'm using quote names. Whoops, it's actually quote name. I'm using the function quote name uh, just in case within city. Again, we're over coding. Just in case within city there are uh, uh, problems with uh, delimiting. So if there are, uh, uh, let's say San Francisco, if you remember San Francisco was one of our column names, there's a space uh, in between the uh, you know San and Francisco. And so by putting quote name around here, I'm saying, hey, when you see that space, just put, just put brackets around San Francisco, right? Um, I'll show you an example later. Hopefully that will help clear things up. So this is what we have to, uh, to start with. So now I'm going to, um, uh, let's do this. Let's, um, let's create this dynamic query here. So we're going to set um, SQL query, which we have here. We're going to set that equal to, I'm going to start with n because it's Unicode. Uh, that's what you have to do. Uh, we're going to select. Um, Let's, let's bring in city code, and it brings in that bracket uh, for us already. Take the comma. Uh, I don't want city. I want everything but city at this point. Metro, county, state, population, population rank, sorry. Whoops close that off plus it's pivot columns uh, plus closing tick mark so uh, there's there's more to go here so this will this will make more sense once we uh, get into it here a little bit more into my temp table right from our table and now we're going to use this pivot function right that's where the magic happens and I'm going to use the max aggregation you have to use an aggregation uh, for your your value that you want to respectively show under your uh, uh, under your new column so uh, because there's only one city uh, per row, uh, I can use max, I could use min, doesn't matter at this point, but I need an aggregation to pivot. Uh, for, uh, let's grab the city, and that city right here, this four city, this is, uh, this is the column that holds the values that are going to become columns, right? In, and let's grab the uh, pivot columns. We are dynamically building out uh, SQL here. And I have to call it something, um, right, Q for query, that's, that's fine. All right, so what do we got here? So uh, into SQL query, this parameter, I am putting in, uh, I'm dynamically kind of building a, uh, a query. So I'm taking all the pivot columns that were returned from here and I'm putting this into a temp table. From table rent, I'm pivoting upon uh, my average rent here for, again, this is the column that contains the values that I want to pivot for city in uh, pivot column names. So these are, these are all the city names that we concatenated together. And let's, uh, let's try and run this right here. So if I say, um, well, first I want you to see, let's say select. SQL query. Let's try that. And up here, I want to say, uh, let's let's put it right here. I want you to see what the variables are going to return. Select, pivot, columns. Right, close enough. Uh, so so let's do that. And now, if I did my, I'm not going to execute the uh, the SQL yet. Uh, I'm just going to 
Let's see if this runs. Right, if I hit this, oh, yeah, that's right. All right, so take a look. The first result is my, um, uh, the, the, um, the select pivot column. So if you look, look at that. Those are all of my city names, but because I use quote names, it put uh, braces around, see the San Francisco, right? Uh, and San Jose and Los Angeles, they have spaces there. If I did not have quote name, this would error out, right? And what this is doing, this is our, not select, this is our select SQL query. This is the actual um, dynamically created SQL script that's going to run. So I'm selecting, again, the city code, the metro, um, county, state. Now, San Francisco, right, this is pivot columns, right? I'm selecting all of that into table temp, right? Basically, you're, you're going to see the rest of this. For city in, wherever the pivot columns is, I'm going to see this. So I dynamically built a SQL query. And if I wanted to, I could, um, well, we need to. Let's uh, execute. <laughs> uh, let's call this, um, well, we have to put in this, what is, what is it, SP execute uh, SQL, execute SQL, right, my SQL query. Right. All right. Did I spell that right? Uh, S P E X E uh, E X E C. Oops. E X E C U T E. There we go. <laughs> Execute SQL. All right. So now, if I run this, it's going to actually run this SQL here. It's going to run this. It's going to put this into table temp. Right. And so I want to comment this out. We're going to, oops, make this a little smaller. All right, we're going to run all of this. I don't want to select this yet. All that did was uh, put all of my results into table temp. Now what I can do, I can look at table temp. I can select star from there. And there you go. There is my output. This is what I wanted. There is a... Uh, here is all my cities as columns and the respective values underneath those columns. So that's how you do that. I got to give a shout out to uh, Stack Overflow. Gave me a nice little template uh, with which to start building this example. Now I had to do something a little bit more complicated um, for myself, but this is as simple as I could make it <laughs> to uh, share with you all. And I'll post this code and a link to uh, Stack Overflow uh, on my, my blog, so you can go back and take a look at it. But again, all, all I would have to do now, Control A, I could do Control Shift C and paste this into Excel. Uh, if you have SQL Server Express here, go into Query Options, go into Grid, and include the column headers when copying or saving the results. That way, all you have to do is Control A and then just copy and then paste it somewhere else. So uh, this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this uh, this tip. Again, SQL, very handy uh, to know how to use, especially some T-SQL here, help you do some complicated things, make it simple. Um, hope you enjoyed this tip. This has been Anthony Smoke. Take this tip, get out there and do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching.